But this here's a tandem look again. Yep. The crochet outside. Let's see if they go inside. Nothing doing this time for Cayman Freeman. Stuck right at the point of attack by Wallow, 30. And a blitzer. Coming at him. Down he goes. Another one of those delayed blitzes. Yeah. Wallow is yeah. coming. Gladney got him. For the blitz, number one. The opposite it's side as well. Uniform to number 29. Number one is now number 29. So they were bringing pressure from both sides. Again, that sneaky corner cap blitz, and then from depth from his linebacker position at Sam. Wallace. Actually got many more backs than we've seen oh, yeah. so far today. No we've seen a little bit of him, Dick McDaniel, Freeman, and Jones primarily. This is Jones again, and they managed to get him out of bounds. That's Garrett Wallow, number 30. Third down and six now. Daniel remains the setback. He gets it, and he's hammered, stoned, and that's Wallow again into the line of scrimmage, cutting off that opportunity for Puka Williams to take it back side. Hey, that's complete to the tight end. Wallow does a nice job here. Picking up the tight end on the way out. Road losses in conference. He shows you what he's got to do and the job he's got. Here's Stanley again, under pressure, throws complete. Andrew Parchment, first pitch. Issue this season for Iowa State. He'll go for it here. Purdy escapes. And he'll be dropped short of the line to gain. Garrett Wallow. Second and ten against a four-man rush. Schellinger given time, and he gets intercepted. Anticipated by Garrett Wallow. And so TCU takes it right back with the first takeaway in four games. How good is that? All about film study and preparation. He's right here. All right, just a four-man rush, as you said, and this is that only happens with route study. And I'll tell you what, Ellinger got fooled right there. He thought it was going to be a continuation of that in cut. Instead, Wallow runs the route and most importantly finishes the drill. That is rare. Ellinger, Duvernay not on the same page. And the junior linebacker, the leading tackler, the playmaker of that defense gets a huge takeaway, a rarity. Another thing, they've always gotten a lot of turnovers here under Gary Patterson. Hasn't been the case this season. Came into the game with just five of them. They've got the two today, and they've got Waddle and Blacklock combining to drop Ingram for a loss of three. He's that red shirt freshman year, and he's pretty tough now. The quarterback draw. Sanders still on his feet, tucks that ball away safely. Did he get the first down? Let's see where they spotted. Wide open out of the backfield. The catch, and let's see where they spot this. It's going to be short of the first down. Hubbard made the catch. Texas Tech, two out of three on third down conversions today. They'll just run with Duffy left side. TCU stretches it out brilliantly, and that'll be a stop. And Patrick Mahomes get back on the winning track. Yeah, a lot of number five jerseys <laughs> around Jones AT&T Stadium. Try to survive this first half. Third down 13. Hurts looking to run. He's in trouble and dropped again. Garrett Wallow makes it fourth and long, and Gary Patterson. TCU clearly thinking pass here. Only four in the box. Hurts scanning the field. Slips and falls, and TCU will take over in Oklahoma Territory. And just three to snap it. They get it off. Can Hurts make a play against a blitz? Not going to get there. Fourth down and one. What are you doing if you're Lincoln Riley? Davey hands off. Brown is hit. And dropped for a loss of a yard by Garrett Wallow. And it's fourth down. Light box look here. Just five in the box for the, box for the offensive line. And you've got to have eyes on 30. Mario Seneca, and he went uh, wild, saying there's no way that was targeting, and he was right. We get that overturned, and there's a tackle for loss in the backfield by guess who? Garrett Wallow, who says, I'm still in this game, West Virginia. Don't forget that. McCoy checks in as the back for the Mountaineers. First down play for Daigie. Going to dump it off to McCoy. 
And a nice open field tackle and a loss of a couple of yards thanks to Garrett Wallow.